Well, hello, my beautiful Torians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading all about you. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Torians, this is a little bonus reading all about you. Us tarot readers, we tend to talk about money, career, love, but we never ask how are you doing? So this reading will address what you're going through right now, how you're moving through this time period, and what's on the other side of this. Also, I'm going to get all of your cards first before I begin your energy, so let us start. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Torians? What do they need to know? regarding their current path. Can you please show them the way? What are they going through right now? Uh, I'm actually seeing a pinball machine in the water right now. So maybe some of you feel like you are pushed and pulled in many different directions, that you're uh, really busy. I feel there's a lot of um, multitasking going on there. Uh, you may feel like you're working towards a certain goal or jackpot in your life. Um, Please take it as it resonates. I mean, it could literally mean that, you know, you are buying a gift for someone and it's a pinball machine or perhaps you uh, work in the games industry, for example, and you uh, are connected to pinball machines. So please take it as it resonates. But I feel symbolically, yeah, look at that. It's about time. Okay, I feel it's more about, you know, you utilizing your time and doing so much. Uh, I feel like you are in a period of um, creating stability in your world. But also I feel like you're truly focused on your sense of purpose at this moment in time. Now, as I said, I will actually tap in a little bit deeper when I get all of your cards, but I have to give you all the images that I see when I'm scrying in the water. And also I channel through my guides at the same time. So let's see what comes through for you. I'd like to receive, thank you so much. Um, I'm also seeing a mirror in the water right now as well. So uh, some of you may be uh, perhaps revamping a look. Maybe you are connected to, uh, you know, making additional pieces to your wardrobe, for example. I mean, the mirror can basically indicate that you're deeply looking at what you reflect out to the world right now and what you attract, but it can also be about magnifying things, magnifying opportunities, perhaps wealth even. So this reading is not really about money, but I have to honor the images that come through and your reading has started off with a lot of images, which is not typical. Normally I have a little bit of time before the images come through, but I feel this is a very fertile time for you but your first card there is snow so some of you either you are preempting a very difficult harsh winter or perhaps you have taken a bit of a, a, a leave or a, you know absence from your life in some way in order to really focus on something in particular without distractions but I see here that a lot of you are going through a deep period of um, not solitude per se, but I feel like you are walking a journey that you feel perhaps other people don't quite understand right now. And I feel like you're in a period of reprogramming the way you address or react to things, but also, you know, you're stepping back from people who cause drama, who, uh, you know, perhaps don't stand in alignment with your belief system. I feel like you're someone who's super open, you know, you're willing to accept someone else's belief system and accept that, 
Sometimes we have to reassert ourselves and say, well, this is my opinion and I accept yours and both are valid, but I'm keeping mine. Or sometimes I feel like you're also open to the fact that if someone shows you a certain way and you think, oh, that's a better way, I'll adopt that way. Uh, I feel like you're very open to that. You're very flexible. But also I feel like right now you're reasserting your values in your life and deepening your faith and your belief system. And I also feel like you're looking at areas in your life right now where you're feeling a little bit disheartened or you feel a little bit like um, unfulfilled, okay? You're seeking deeper meaning. You're seeking something else, this otherworldly energy. I'm getting a very strong sense right now from your reading, like what else? There's got to be more than this. So I see you doing a lot of soul searching over the last couple of months and maybe even years because I feel this is a long period here. But let's get to each card individually. The first card there is Silence Snow, okay? Now, of course, this can indicate that you feel somehow that things have slowed down to a halt in your life. You may feel like you're putting in all the effort, you're putting in all the work to make your life run as smoothly as possible, considering the circumstances that you've got. But you may feel like you are frozen in a moment of time in some way. Now, what I've been tapping into quite a lot for each sign so far, uh, it's been popping up and I don't want to really connect it to anybody else's reading, but I'm feeling a very strong energy here of fight or flight mode. Some of you you may feel like you've been on autopilot for a while, almost like there's this numbness, okay? You're just doing, you're just busy doing what you have to do to keep life running smoothly. And I feel, I mean, you've got two aces here. You're searching for new adventures. You are trying to think of all the possibilities that are open to you right now, new ideas, new ways of living. I feel like there is a period of inspiration about to burst upon you and you can feel a deep change within yourself. But it feels here that... A part of you that maybe you felt like you lost touch with has somehow been phased out or you feel is dormant, but it's about to come alive, whether it's a creative part of you, whether it is this lust for life, this libido, this excitement, enthusiasm. You know, as we get older, uh, we certainly get wiser, I hope, uh, but also we start to kind of like lose the sparkle a little bit. So I feel like you're trying to keep that magic alive about the world, that curiosity about yourself. Um, now, of course, it says silence there. So some of you, uh, I'm not really seeing a person in your reading, okay? I want you to be aware of that. This is all about you. So I don't feel like you're phasing anyone out. I feel like you are acknowledging that, you know, uh, you are the most important person in your life because you have to rely on yourself. And I feel that uh, right now you are the most permanent person in your life. You're acknowledging that as we start to become older, we start to realize that, you know, we are independent, self-sufficient, even though you're choosing certain people to be in your life. I feel right now you're choosing you. So some of you may actually be going off grid or you feel that you want to keep a low profile right now in order to focus on something. And I feel like you're adopting new ways of living, new lifestyle changes, or you're trying to work towards that at this time. For some of you, it could be financial related. It could be in your working environment if you're in a career, but some of you could also be if you're retired, for example, it could be that you're trying to, uh, you know, utilize your time by deepening your belief system, getting to know who you are on a deeper level, and really connecting to your sense of purpose. Also, uh, I will connect this energy because it is being drawn to people who are retired as well. Uh, I'm being given an energy that some of you feel that as you've retired, um, there's no sort of like timetable. So I feel like you're trying to create structure. But at the same time, I feel this energy of some of you feel that people kind of like don't notice you, almost like you blend in with the background in some way, especially since we've got a little hair or bunny rabbit right there. You can probably just about see it. So it's like you're trying to like highlight, I'm here, hi, I'm still like having my life and having a great time, right? So I feel this is about you doing things that you love, but noticing that people kind of like either are a little bit dismissive of you, and this could be society that you're kind of like noticing. Um, but also, I feel people just look at you in a different way. Now, of course, that may not resonate with everyone. And uh, it's just come through. So please do not shoot the messenger on this. I'm just being given that message. But I feel here that 
you know, you are full of wisdom and I feel you are someone who is actually, uh, it feels you're a lot younger for your age. You look a lot younger for your age. And I feel like there's this sense of adventure about you that you are embracing at this time. And uh, I see a lot of great opportunities coming your way and something that you've been wishing for, nine of cups, something that has taken a long time. And I'm talking a long time to show up for you. So whatever that is, it's actually winging its way towards you. Okay. Now, of course, with a lot of respect, I'm going to move away from that energy. It just popped in there. But I see with the high priestess energy for the majority of my beautiful Taurians, you're in a period of reprogramming. I feel like you are sort of learning as you become more mature in your energy that you're reprogramming toxic behaviors taught to you by unhealed people. Now, this could be family members, could also be peers as we start to grow older. It's almost like you're looking at patterns of repeat in your life, emotional ones at that, because there's a lot of cups in your energy here. And I feel like you're just doing a period of cathartically processing things to let things go. So you can, you know, empower yourself and you know allow yourself to thrive in a healthy way so a lot of you are addressing your thoughts at this time your feelings your passions and I feel that it's almost like as I said you've been on autopilot in some way and now you want to you know live and have a little bit more spontaneity rather than just exist okay now of course as I said this may not resonate with everyone but I have to honor the cards that uh, pop out here because um, I don't pick the cards for you my guides uh, pick the cards that are meant to be for you there but this card actually means allow yourself to soften even though you've been going through a very difficult period in life um, with the eight of swords some of you have been feeling stuck Okay, and uh, for some of you, not all of you, based on the last couple of years, it's like there is this cycle of fear that has been sort of swirling around the globe and you're trying not to allow that fear to get in the way of your plans or you sort of living life to its fullest. So I see you liberating yourself out of some sort of stuck cycle. But I do see that uh, a lot of you with that Eight of Swords there, there is an energy here of... Um, being really honest with yourself, kind of like seeing things as they truly are, uh, shattering illusions in your life. And I feel it promotes growth and healing. And I feel like you deserve some really awesome things coming your way. But I see you sort of saying goodbye to anything that clouds your vision. I feel like you have clear sight. And I feel like you're very locked on and focused on making your life thrive and just opening yourself up to everything that life has to offer because you're going from the snow which you know it's like dormancy where you feel that you're kind of like in a stillness in some way even though you're super busy I mean that pinball machine indicates that you know you are doing life it's like running a mile a minute right now where you're focusing on all the things you have to do and you feel that time is like speeding up somehow but also somehow you're still in the same place but your outcome card is fecundity reign, which basically means you're going to thrive. There is a wealth of knowledge here for you, but also not only are you deepening your knowledge about yourself and seeing what you're capable of, there is an energy here of things working out in your favor, new ideas flourishing, and basically a time of plenty for you there as well. Um, now, of course, I can see that a lot of you have gone through some very difficult experiences in life, and you may feel that something in your life stopped time. Okay, there is a major energy here about something that you experienced in your life stopped time. Now, this could be a separation, for example, or it could be the passing of somebody who was very close to you. Could also be what happened in the world a couple of years ago. Um, I'm not going to mention it. We all know what we're talking about here. Um, but it's something that is actually, you know, has affected you on a very deep level. And I'm seeing a really beautiful white butterfly right now. Um, it was giving you a, a period of intense transformation. Uh, white butterflies are going to be a sign or a symbol for you. Um, to make you acknowledge that things are going to be brighter, things are going to get better, and you are in the flow of metamorphosis. So I feel that you're about to spread your wings and fly. And if you do have someone in spirit who is very close to you, who passed away, um, and you've you know, stopped in your energy. It's almost like time stopped then. Firstly, I'm sending you a huge hug out there. So much love, but you're going to see lots of white butterflies. These don't have to be in person, but it'll be wonderful 
when you do see them in person, this could be anywhere. It could be someone gives you a card with a white butterfly on it, or you see a white butterfly on a billboard or in a book or on a movie. But ultimately, everywhere you go, white butterflies are an indication that your person is in spirit and they're with you. And time stopped. They acknowledge that, but they want you to open yourself up to enjoying the moment. And I see a lot of you trying to be more present, and that's why time kind of like stopped, or time is different for you in some way. And with a lot of respect, I'm going to move away from the energy, but there's so many good things that you're being guided to right now, and I feel there's an energy here of having faith and recognizing that you're in a period of letting go of things that have been hindering your path. You're in search of something really wonderful. You know, this is your life. This is your journey. Live it the way you want to and have a lot of fun along the way. So that's coming through very strongly there. Now, as I said, with a lot of respect, I'm going to move away from the energy. Uh, with all the difficult experiences that you've had, this card is a reminder. Do not allow those experiences to harden your heart, okay? I feel like you're the sort of person right now that you're choosing your words very carefully. You're choosing what you connect to very carefully, what you observe, what you digest, both in like a physical eating kind of way, but also in a way what passes your ears because you are the sum of what it is that you are absorbing. So I feel like you are very careful right now about what it is that you are taking note of or watching or speaking about. And it feels like there is a period where there is radical change. I mean, if you saw the cards the way I do, like there's the snow and silence here. Some of you are like working almost like undercover on a project, you know, you've gone off grid a little bit to work on something, new ideas, new inspirations, or a lifestyle change. And we've got the sun here with the clock shining on through and there's a brain. It's like your brain is really connecting right now to the ether and is going to lock on to all your manifestations because remember thoughts become things and the outcome is uh, the fecundity rain. Now, what do you need for things to flourish? You need rain and you need sun, of course. So I feel it's very important to recognize that you've been going through a difficult period, which symbolically is your rain period, but also, you know, there is a sun which is about to come out for you and things are going to get infinitely better there. Now, also with the Ace of Swords, this is a major breakthrough card. I feel like um, with the Ace of Swords here, this is an indication that you're learning to articulate yourself from a healthy place. And I also see here with this Ace of Swords that you're brimming with new ideas. Um, and I feel like there is a period coming for you, especially if some of you feel that you've been a little bit clouded in your thinking. This could be something hormonal related or something connected to a vitamin deficiency there. Um, or for some of you, it could be something that you're um, digesting that gives you intense highs and then intense lows, okay? Uh, caffeine, for example. I mean, like if anyone said to me, I need to drop the coffee in the morning, I'd be like, mm, excuse me, no, uh, I need my coffee in the morning. But of course, everybody doesn't need that. So so some of you are looking at things in your life that really affect your energy levels right now. And I feel like you're going to get to the heart of the matter. And I feel you're going to address or rebalance things. And there's a period of infinite clarity. Like you are going to see things like never before. Everything's just going to be so fresh, like you're seeing it with new eyes. But also, I feel this is a period of you having a glow up, okay? Now, I get an energy here because there's a swan on this card. Now, swans, very territorial. Uh, they mate for life. You're someone who's very loyal. You're a good friend. And, you know, you are someone who is very discerning about the company that you keep. Swans, they gracefully glide, okay, across the water. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Now, um, I'm being given like an opposite energy. Maybe the Ace of Wands is that opposite energy. So you're trying to balance your energies right now because I'm being given the image, my guides are pointing at the graceful swan, but I'm hearing a song, I came in like a wrecking ball, okay? Now that's all I'm being given. Uh, I think it's Miley Cyrus who sings that. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't really remember right now. I gotta be honest with you. I'm just being given the song. Um, so it's like, you know, I feel like you are here to live your passions. You're here to live your truth. And people may not understand your path, and that's okay. 
because you understand it. And I feel like you are searching for deeper meaning, but I feel like you are someone who is living life in accordance with your own will and you're not a people pleaser. So I feel for some of you, you are really shaking life up a little bit. You could be in talks right now with, uh, you know, people who can provide information or advice on how to change certain things for you, uh, how to structure life in a different way. I mean, there's a lot of new things happening in your life, but in order for those new things to occur, we had to freeze out the old things, right? So for example, if this is relationships and love for you, this is about like processing uh, a past relationship to the point where you have no feeling for that anymore, you know, so it doesn't trigger you. And every time you think about that person, it's your brain testing you and your heart testing you and saying, how do you feel? Does it trigger emotion? Well, if it does, then, you know, then it means you still have a little bit more to heal on that, whether it's anger, whether it is sadness, frustration, um, or joy that it's over. Uh, you know, when you feel that level of like, meh, well, it happened, and I learned a lesson let's move on, then you've passed a test and you're moving on. So I'm just kind of clarifying uh, what it could be for you, but please apply it to your situation because something, you know, has come to its end of a cycle, which is allowing you to embrace a newness about your life, new projects, new endeavors, new experiences, new adventures. And I feel that there is a period of inspiration and some of the things that you have actually experienced, you could write a book on it because the Ace of Swords can be that you're trying to find the words to articulate how you feel, but at the same time, you may turn it into a passion, passion project. You may write a book uh, in order to help other people in some area of their life because you've experienced these things so that you can actually pass on your knowledge. And this could be to your children if you have children as well, okay? Now, some of you, not all of you, some of you may have had, uh, you know, uh, surgery or procedure and you feel like you've had to cancel life for a little while whilst you go through a period of healing. Make sure you get back to best before you get back into the busyness of life because you will have a setback if you do not. So, you know, I feel this is a period of pause for you. I feel there's an energy of needing to have silence on purpose so you can hear your heart, so you can reconnect to your passions, especially if you've been living in a fight or flight kind of energy or a trauma response energy to something, especially if you feel that time stops still in some area of your life, even though it's flying on by and now we're nearly at the end of 2024. You know, sometimes we must like awaken, as it were, from a slumber, so it's almost like the storm is passing and now you are going to live life to its fullest. And I feel the time is upon you to embrace that newness. As you can see, we've got, uh, you know, a blazing sun there. And of course, uh, for some of you, uh, you may be also contemplating the effect that the solar flares have had on our earth at the moment. You know, uh, we are having a solar maximum, believe it or not. And, um, you know, there is going to be some radical change. It's going to continue with weather events. And some of you are just trying to think things through, trying to work out, uh, you know, how things are working right now or trying to understand how you can be the change in your part of the world to try and make the environment a better place. So I feel some of you are really like inspired on new ways to help with what's going on in the world right now. And um, that aside, I feel this is more about you, you know, reigniting your lust for life, your passions. And I feel this is the start. I feel like you're taking responsibility for your life. And I feel like you have a vision of the future that is exciting and you're working hard to make it happen. But there's also a simplicity here about your reading where you don't want any drama. You're walking away from things that have bothered you or made you feel like you're not enough. And I feel a lot of you, even though you have people around you who really care about you, I feel there's this energy of you needing to do something on your own right now. And it may feel a little bit like a solitary path, but I feel like you've got this and you're going to attract soul tribe members who are going through something very similar and you're going to connect in the future. There is an interconnectedness about your energy. Now, of course, we've got disciplined time. So I feel like you are acutely aware that time is a factor and it's important to spend it with the people that you really care about. Uh, this card, of course, indicates that you are basically paying attention to the speed in which time is passing and that you don't want to waste your time. I feel like you're someone who 
basically is um, either under deadlines or you put a lot of pressure on yourself to get something accomplished. I feel, of course, if you have something in your mind that you want to accomplish, you're the sort of person who will not stop until it's done. And I feel like you will accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. So you will have everything happen in divine timing, but in accordance with your will. So I would say there's nothing to worry about here when you get this card. Uh, this card also indicates that, um, you know, you don't tend to really procrastinate, okay? But I feel you need to be aware of the difference between taking a healthy break where you have like no connection to devices for example or the internet or you know uh, working on something on the side you need to take good quality rest because life is so busy we have a society that is super loud and there's like a bombardment of information all the time and we are connected to these devices or internet and you know news um, clickbait all of those things come our way we decide whether we want to connect to that but when you have some downtime there needs to be a balance between procrastination like scrolling online with reels for example I do it too we all do it um, and then taking some actual downtime to disconnect. So I feel like you're learning to disconnect in a really healthy way and being very disciplined with your time because I feel there's something here you want to get done. Some of you are launching new businesses or launching new ideas or launching new ways of living and you feel time is of the essence right now. Now we do have the Nine of Cups, something that you've wished for for a very long time is actually going to be delivered to you, but I feel ultimately you're looking at areas of your life where you feel unfulfilled or you feel something hasn't gone your way, but time is a factor and it is divine timing. Sometimes we are given an alternative path, a plot twist as it were, in order to experience new people, new places, new endeavors so that we can enjoy the richness of life. So just because you've had some sort of stepping stone or alternative route offered to you doesn't mean you're not going to accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. Remember, you know, a uh, rejection is a protection and a redirection. And I feel it's very important to recognize that we have a soul contract and things are plot pointed on our journey that we must experience. So I see you being very goal oriented and whatever it is that you are working towards, you shall have it. Have faith. I feel with the Eight of Cups, when you actually walk away on the Eight of Cups, you walk straight onto the Nine of Cups and you've got the Nine of Cups in the resistance position, which basically means something you feel like you don't have right now now is going to be gifted to you and it turns into the upright but at first you must experience that eight of cups as an outcome in order to receive the nine of cups so you're being brave enough to say this doesn't work for me anymore or I've evolved away from this friendship or this relationship and you know it can be a lonely path but it's almost like you being in search of the holy grail, the new way of living or the new ideas or the new projects or the new money or the new relationship. And I feel there's an important energy here where it means that at once you were in between two worlds where you felt that you were on autopilot, but now it feels like the compass is working and you are strongly focused on your direction and your purpose at this time. Now also we have the Eight of Swords. It's in the resistance position, okay? And that is a very positive energy. It means that you are liberating yourself out of a very stuck situation or a cycle of repeat or a pattern. I mean, for some of you, this could be, you know, the snow energy is like the hermit. You've gone into hibernation almost. You may have not gone out as much as you usually do, connect to friends, be socially like uh, active. It could be that, you know, you've had other things on your mind that are more important for you to focus on at this time. But now it feels like you're freeing yourself in some way. But also it will go into the upright, which is a little reminder to not let fear get in the way of your plans, okay? Because this can be a self-imposed restriction. And we all got to be honest with ourselves. Sometimes we do get in our own way, okay? Uh, I do it all the time. Uh, we all do it and we try to, you know, override fear, anxiety, or... Um, it's important, let's put it this way, to tap into your intuition because that is your inner compass. And with that Eight of Swords, I feel like you are freeing yourself up and most importantly, it feels like it's connected to your mind, okay? Stop doubting yourself. See what you're capable of. Look at where you are right now. You know, five years ago, look at where you were then and now where you are. And I feel like you've come a long way and you're doing a really awesome job and the best is yet to come, okay? But I do see a lot of you 
or um, really focusing on articulating your needs so that you can have your needs met there as well. And I feel a lot of you have had a very difficult journey and there is this energy here where you're going through an intense healing period in order to open yourself up to accept joy and happiness back into your life. And uh, I see a lot of... Uh, prosperity coming your way but most importantly I feel something inside of yourself has changed and you're not going back to that place I feel like you're reconnecting to a part of yourself but I feel like you're not going back to a place that you felt really like stuck I feel from here on in you're growing exponentially and I feel there are so many rewarding things attaching to your energy right now and I feel as I said the best is yet to come now, of course, we have number 35 there, fecundity, which uh, basically indicates the conditions of greater prosperity are going to be met in your life. So know that all will be well. This period for you is to cleanse yourself of old, outdated views and anything that you've outgrown, you need to let it go. It has been hindering your path. So this could be a person, could be a situation, could be an event, could be, you know, a job. It could be something that you feel, as I said, something about you time stopped and you've just been like doing okay um and i feel now it is a period of like coming out of that dormancy allowing yourself to be cleansed in a cathartic way and now you have everything you need to grow and obviously this card indicates you're attracting more money as well so if any of you are worried about your finances i see that you're doing a lot of brainstorming in order to um, change your path in some way embrace new opportunities a lot of you are getting new jobs or uh, new creative endeavors or launching something that you're in charge of and i see that it's going to be so lucrative for you there as well don't allow fear of the unknown to block your path. But I also see you having a plan and a strategy before you make that leap or that launch, okay? Now also we got the High Priestess there, which is a very important card because it basically means that um, you are in a period of enlightenment, of course, but also uh, this is the guardian of the unconscious mind. And I feel you are protecting your inner peace, you know, eradicating fear, drama, um, basically any, energy that is not yours to absorb, I feel like you're kind of blocking it out and protecting your energy. And I feel also you're protecting yourself against temptation. A lot of you are looking at like a major health overhaul right now as well. So I feel like you're looking at what tempts you and basically kind of trying to phase it out in a very healthy way because if you just stop it and cut it out then of course you're going to be tempted. You're going to really crave it more. So I feel a lot of you are kind of phasing things out right now. But also the high priestess is to have faith and to have sovereignty over your thoughts, you know, to notice your thoughts and how they tear you down sometimes and how they raise you up. So this card, it can indicate that you're in that period of reprogramming experiences and accepting people as they are in your life, of course, and how they come to you, recognizing that you cannot change another person, but you must place them where they belong in accordance with the way that they treat you. So I feel like you are really awakening to that sort of mantra in your life. I also feel like you're achieving a lot right now and it may not feel like it, but I see that you are making things work and you're showing up for yourself and powering on through. And despite how exhausted you feel sometimes, I feel that um, you're going to accomplish a lot more than you expect. And I feel that sometimes, especially with our expectations, it always feels like it's never enough. But this is like a sign for you to just breathe and recognize that something you've been wishing for or trying to pray for or manifest is actually going to be delivered to you. But you're taking things step by step and you're closer to whatever it is that you want to accomplish than you think. Okay. Now, um, I do see here a life of simplicity. Deepening your set of values is what I'm feeling here as well connecting to your sense of purpose. And I feel this card is really highlighting a lot of you are like opening yourself up to the mysteries of the universe. So some of you may be like submerging yourself right now in documentaries on the unknown or, uh, you know, otherworldly experiences. I feel the veil, of course, between worlds is thinnest as you move to the end of October. Saw Wayne in particular, of course, um, Halloween for some, if you call it that. Um, and I feel that white butterfly is going to be a major sign for you of communication from someone in spirit who's going to let you know that they're with you and they walk with you and 
there is a long line of people actually walking with you in strength and solidarity with what you're going through right now. And they are directing and guiding you towards greater things in your life. So know that all will be well and it shall be so. Now we've got that Eight of Cups. I see a lot of you walking away from a lifestyle or something that just wasn't fulfilling for you anymore. For some of you, this could be also something that you've been digesting, uh, whether it's a, a substance perhaps, or whether it's like a, a beverage, uh, maybe it's caffeine, maybe it's something else. Maybe you feel like you've had too much of it, oversaturated, and you're like, no, your body just wants a change and a rest. Um, if you have gone through a procedure, I feel uh, this could be that now you are here Healing and that you are coming out of that period and you know you are going to have more energy vitality there as well but make sure that you take the rest that you need first as you don't want to have a setback but this card can also indicate especially with so many new things going on here with the two aces it's never too late to try new things. It's never too late to change direction or reprogram something. You know, we are infinite beings. We are connected in the universe. And of course, we have an earthly body, but time, although it is a factor to measure things so that we can show up for a meeting or we can have a deadline and all of those things, and we can like note the dates that are flying on by, but ultimately, you know, there's always time. Okay, there's always time for you to change your mind. There's always time to redirect a course. So if you're thinking, you know what, if you studied to be a lawyer your whole life, but actually you want to be an actor, then the time is now, you know, there's never a time where you are locked into something, okay? So even if you're like 95 and you say, you know what, I want to do a skydive, um, you know, as long as you go to the right place and do the right procedures and get the right advice, then go for it. I feel there's an energy here of infinite possibility. Remember, when you walk away with the Eight of Cups because something isn't fulfilling, because I feel like you're on a major journey of discovery right now, and you're seeking that greater authenticity, you're seeing beyond superficiality in the world, in your neighborhood, in your environment, on TV, in everything. I feel like you're really like looking at things in a different way. And I feel this is going to deliver many riches to you. Uh, but also it can somehow like dampen your sparkle. So I feel you're trying to reconnect to that sparkle, that lust for life. Because when you see through things, then you kind of like preempt that there's always going to be a hidden agenda or there's always going to be something that perhaps isn't as magical as life used to be, but that's not true at all. Magic is surrounds us and we just have to be in the right mindset to see it. You know, you can watch a movie that you saw many years ago and you thought, I really hated that. Didn't want to watch it. Don't like it. And then years later, you see it again. You're like, oh my gosh, actually, this isn't too bad. I really get it because you're in a different frame of energy. You're in a different frame of mind. And I feel this is a period that you're going through right now where you are outgrowing a lot of things and you're walking tall and you're walking straight into the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. It is more than that, though. It is a simplicity. It is success. It is prosperity. It is an achievement of desire. And it basically means you're taking pride in all the hard work that you're putting into your life and you are actually achieving a level of satisfaction and you're doing an awesome job, whatever it is that you do. And I'm not talking about career, I'm talking about life. I feel here that you are deepening your belief system and I feel that you're going to be more clear on life. If you have a decision to make, especially, you're going to be very clear and it's going to be very prosperous. But also I feel this is about you having your needs met not fading into the background. I mean, whether you're retired or not, I feel this is a period where you're looking at where you feel you are underestimated, undervalued, or go unnoticed in some way. But actually, the universe is bestowing some gifts upon you where you are going to be noticed, where you're going to be thrust into the spotlight in some way and rewarded in good karma, okay? So I'm just going to go and get some final cards for you. Um, it says here, swift returns, as I was talking about good karma coming back to you. It says here, the effort you put in now comes back to you soon. Strike while you can. With those two aces, you're striking while you can. The time is now. And I feel like you have a plan. Some of you, that snow card could be that your plans that you had have lain dormant that you've had to lay low for a little bit, focus on other things, until such time as you can launch these new plans. Everything has a time, and I feel when you are ready, intuitively, you will know 
when it's time to move, relocate, or launch a business, or implement those new plans, or put your resume out there, or, you know, purchase something that you've been hoping to purchase. So I definitely see that you are in divine order and in the flow of life, and you will know when the moment is right. I mean, for some of you, you could be uh, feeling that, you know, if you have not got love in your life, I mean, you've got love of people, but if you're looking for a romantic connection and you haven't found love yet, I see that you're going to be talking to someone new and there is a spark with this person. It is passionate, but it's important to really set a foundation and get to know this person first. And um, I feel, especially if you've been out of the uh, dating scene for a while, uh, don't let fear or hesitancy hold you back. Trust your intuition, trust your inner compass. I feel this person is someone that you really bond with on so many levels, but I feel it will be a slow burn relationship towards a high level commitment. Um, but also your final card there is wrapping up. This situation ends so you can move on to new things. Better things are in store. That's what your whole reading was about. You know, you're wrapping something up so that you can, you know, embrace new things. And that's what happens in life. You know, when we start to feel like we're on autopilot and we've lost a passion for something or we just not feeling it anymore, it's an indication from our body, but also from the universe to say, plot twist, try new things have new experiences. How do you feel about it? Always check in with that inner compass. And I feel the time is now for you to embrace those new things, wrap up anything that you've outgrown or evolved away from. It's time to embrace those new experiences. And of course, a bow always appears really on a gift. And I feel the universe is about to bestow a major gift upon you. Okay. So I'm just going to go and get a trinket or a rune. Uh, we have the tree. Okay, we have the tree there. Now the tree represents stability, planting roots, but also it tells me that you're very family oriented. The people that you call your soul tribe in your life, you know, you're very protective over those people. And I feel this is about that interconnectedness, seeing more family members, uh, but also soul tribe members as well, friends that you haven't seen for a while. But ultimately the tree represents stability, uh, longevity, making long-term changes that will be very healthy in your life. And also it indicates generational wealth. So some of you may be thinking about structures regarding wealth or amplifying your wealth and your financial needs at this time, branching out some of you if you have your own company or if you are in a career. Um, but also I see, thank you so much, I'm truly grateful. I've just been given, some of you may have thought about or actually have planted a tree for someone in spirit, or maybe it's a plant and you will replant it when the sun comes back out again, uh, and it will flourish and thrive. And that person is basically uh, showing me their heart right now. I'm just seeing the heart. Uh, it's like someone's just opened uh, their chest, and I'm just seeing the heart. And it's like, there's so much love there. So again, with a lot of respect, I'm going to disconnect from that energy. But um, I'm seeing that there too. Okay. Uh, now, finally, we have the key, which means a breakthrough. And we've got the world card key. So this can indicate that you are embracing the world at large. Some of you may even think about going traveling or being a little bit more nomadic or making some radical move uh, to another country. Maybe these are things you're just thinking about right now because Ace of Swords is like very cerebral. You're in your mind about how to transform your life, make new changes, have new adventures because the Ace of Wands is present as well. But that key energy, it indicates you're going to to get the answers that you seek and that things are going through a breakthrough for you right now and the world is your oyster so I also just heard your world is your playground as well so I feel this is about embracing change but also you know letting your hair down embracing the moment and seeking more fun or more thrills in life to enjoy yourself okay and feel fulfilled so I'll leave it there this reading certainly will not resonate with everyone but uh, that is the energy that came out so I have to honor it in this moment it can't always be everyone's reading all the time I totally get that uh, but if something does resonate here please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press that little notification bell lets you know when I update my next message lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is truly important for me too and just before I go and I'm like ooh, um, I just saw an image of someone putting a contact lens in their eye okay so I mean symbolically this could mean that you're seeing things in a different way or in a sharper way or perhaps some of you are going for an eye test for example eight of swords is actually my eye test um card so interestingly that you got that one um so it could be that you're noticing a change in your 
prescription if you have a prescription some of you may be thinking about going for contacts I'm not sure um, that's just as like a very intense image to see right now but um, please apply it to your situation I feel symbolically it's about changing the way you see things in order to change the way you live and embrace more opportunities so clarity is going to be bestowed upon you and I feel it's only up from here okay so I'll leave it there thank you so much my beautiful Taurians and love and light